provide more uh, meals to individuals. Uh, so without further ado, I want to introduce actually an old boss of mine. So for uh, those that don't know, I spent some time uh, working in New York City um, with Joel Berg, who is a leading hunger advocate uh, across the United States. Um, his history you know, goes uh, back to nearly 20 years, um, having worked in the Clinton administration for the USDA and um, has continued this fight um, in food uh, insecurity ma majority of his adult's life. Um, and he is uh, touring the US um, this summer and we're lucky to have him here, which is one of his former homes. He is formerly a resident of Jersey City, so now he's back um, to help us kick off our summer meals event. So please welcome Joel Berg, Executive Director of Hunger Free America. Thank you so much, Stacy. Yes, I, I did live in uh, Jersey City uh, briefly in 1987, 1988, 62 Wayne Street, if anyone's uh, you know, uh, uh, counting. Uh, um, so I, I have been traveling the country so far. I've done 1,800 miles uh, to three trips into New England, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, and Massachusetts. Uh, did an event a few weeks ago with Congressman Andrew Kim, who again uh, represents Central New Jersey, to really highlight the SNAP groups. And I want to thank Adele, my colleague from uh, Hunger Free New Jersey, just that they're, they're a totally independent group from Hunger Free America. They do really amazing work, and Adele's been at it a long time <laughs> as well. Not, not to date. Not to date ourselves. Actually, this is my 20th year with the organization, and I worked for uh, USDA eight years before that, so I'm not gonna ask uh, all our VISTAs how old they are, but uh, I may have worked for our organization older than some of our VISTAs. Raise your hands, all people in our VISTA program. Uh, so we have an AmeriCorps VISTA program, which is sort of a domestic Peace Corps, uh, folks serving over the summer. We have one based here directly in Jersey City, and the rest of our team from New York came over today to Canvas to let people know about the summer meals uh, program, which is absolutely so vital. Uh, and uh, what would be the best way for people to find out about the sites in, in here? Your website? Uh, yeah, we listed them all on the website, but also the text messages. Right, and you can also call 1-866-3-HUNGRY, 1-866-3-HUNGRY, and en espanol, 1-877-3-HUNGRY, and our, all our staff uh, answering the, the National Hunger Hotline speak English and, and Spanish. The hung Summer Meals Program is so vital 85% of the kids in America who get school lunches don't get summer meals. 85% of the kids in America who get school lunches don't get summer meals. Why? Well, in many places there are fewer sites, although you guys have over 50 sites in Jersey City. For, for a city of your size, that is a monumental uh, accomplishment. So thank you, Stacy. Thank you to the mayor. Thank you to the council for supporting these programs. We know there's a drop off in learning over the summer. And some people say, well, it's because kids are away from books, and no doubt that's true. But it's also because they're away from nutritious meals. To be schooled, you must be fueled. To be well-read, you must be well-fed. Those are my two Dr. Seuss uh, moments here. Uh, and so we want to promote the importance of summer meals. And, and overall, on my trip throughout the country, I want to promote the importance of the public policy response. Del and I work for nonprofit groups. We're often called hunger heroes. She is. I, I wouldn't take that appellation for me. People run food banks and soup kitchens and food pantries are called hunger heroes. But I think the staff of the city of Jersey City, who are out there today, you know, serving kids, uh, you know, meals are hunger heroes. The school food service workers here, who literally risked their lives during the pandemic to feed hungry people, were pandemic. Were hunger heroes. The staff at county SNAP offices, what used to be called um, food stamps offices, are hunger heroes. The government employees and nonprofit employees running WIC clinics, women's infants and children clinics, uh, feeding uh, pregnant women and children under five, they're hunger heroes. So we really want to talk about the importance of, of the public policy response, that because of actions of the Biden administration and Congress, the SNAP program was dramatically expanded. The WIC program was significantly expanded. They created a program called PEBT. If you go out and see the grab and go sites here in the city, you may have somewhat less participation than other times. A, because it's ridiculously Sahara-like hot, 
Uh, and, and although if you're lucky, we're not in the Pacific Northwest where it was getting 118, although we will see what we get the rest of the summer. But so A, it's hot, but B is that many families are getting this other pandemic EBT program, which is meant to compensate for schools being closed for summer sites. And that's really a monumental accomplishment. So we want to remind people that things do change, things do matter. We had the worst hunger crisis in modern times over the last year and a half, but the reason we did not have mass starvation the way you might see in North Korea or parts of Sub-Saharan Africa or parts of the world that have wars going on now is because we did have this massive federal response that was then administered by the states and, and, and the counties. I know you guys run the WIC clinic here, which is just around uh, the corner and really did heroic work very rapidly to move towards virtual service, uh, which is really uh, vital. So we want to stress that the hunger crisis is still here. It's still prevalent just because many of us can at least partially go around without masks. We shouldn't be fooled into thinking this problem was solved. Even before the pandemic, tens of millions of Americans lived in households that couldn't afford enough food. Here in New Jersey, as you know, there's massive inequality of wealth. You have some of the you know, wealthiest communities on the planet and some of the poorest communities in, in the United States. And even in New Jersey City itself, as you know, there's, there's vast inequality of wealth. It was here when I lived here in 87, and it's only increased you know, uh, since then. So the need's still here. We, we want to do the opposite of mission accomplished. The mission is still unaccomplished, and we're all going to keep at it until we finally end hunger in America. So thank you, Stacy, and thank you, Adele. Thank you, all my colleagues.